safe end of a bullet. And that's about all. Man, these people love to shoot. They were so bored. This thing I just pulled out what used the pinpointer. It was so close to the ground. Just a button. No design. Suppose that's just another button. Cool. Well, hey guys, I'm uh, I'm headed to these trees up here. If you go back in my videos, about to the very beginning, um, I made one called Metal Detecting a Wild West Town Site and I was all around the outskirts of those trees and uh, I've always wanted to go back there are some things I wanted to look at again um, inside the trees and I always wanted to make a video walking around showing you what's in there may not be too interesting to you but hey I'm gonna do it anyway um, and just just the backstory again, if you haven't seen that video, um, this town sprang up about in the 1870s and 10 years later it was gone. It's just something that never panned out and uh, there's a line, you'll see when I get there, there's a, a boundary line, this tall grass, this prairie grass, and then a field, and then the trees are in the middle of the field. And the town the main street was actually about centered on this boundary line. So I can only metal detect half half the town. So one day if this ever gets burned off or whatever, then you can be sure I'll be in here. Um, but for now, let's get there and we'll take a look at what we got. Okay, now that I'm kind of in the windbreak here, see where I parked my vehicle and the dividing boundary line between the, the grass and the field here and uh, came into the trees and uh, let's just walk around and look around real quick let's see first landmark let's just leave this stuff here little deal. I wonder if that was an incubator. Chicken egg in incubator. Homemade deer stand out of a oh, one of those chemical totes. The cage off a chemical tote and a bunch of pipe. Here's what's left of the roof. I found that 1800s jewelry store um, sign, tin sign on. I think I put that in the video. That was the outhouse roof. See, there's a cellar hole there. Now when this whole town went away, a farm remained, okay? And it was kind of, I think I even mentioned it then, it was a uh, kind of like Sam Drucker on Petticoat Junction or Green Acres. They had one wing of the house was the general store, and then they had post office inside the general store. And I think my oldest son found in this coal pile um, part of the lock for a mailbox. So that was pretty cool. There's a piece of a lantern right there. Add that to the deal. And there's a, a screw top medicine bottle. Let's 
just a typical one you find. That's one thing about this place, like so many others in this part of the country, I cannot find the trash pits. They, you know, hey, look at that crank. Huh. Looks like it broke and they repaired it with wire and it fell off again. But yeah, there's so few, um, so few creeks and rivers in this part of Kansas that, you know, it was unfortunate. Of course, that's where people chose to throw stuff, but there wasn't a whole lot of that out here, so they must have dug um, pits, trash pits, and then they either got, they got covered up by the wind. I'm sure the Dust Bowl during the 30s covered up a lot. So here's the barn. Some kind of strap. Some copper pipe, I guess. My boys got in here, those rascals, and, uh, oh, what's that right there? Some, sp at some spot in here, they were picking up old bullets. I would say pre-1900s, but, you know, not, not any older. Um, so, somewhere between Civil War and the turn of the century. And I pulled a single tree out of here. It's hanging up on my wall in the shed. There's one right there. I can't tell right now if there's ridges in the ring or not. But There's another one. Nope. There's one. Looks like that was carved. Yeah, so I don't know what was going on in this barn. Someone was shooting at the barn. Or uh, someone was a reloader. I mean, you certainly got a lot of bullet holes. So. And this has got to be safe, so we'll just crawl through here. And battery cable. Tin cans. Alright, well. Might be interesting to run a screen in here, you know. Um sift through some of this stuff. So a leaf spring. Could be off a seat of a wagon. Too small for anything else. Need old fuel can. Oh let's see if I can get out of here. Oh okay. It's unfortunate that's how these places get out here. You just can't swing a detector, you know? It's either tall weeds, like through there, or lots of trees. Okay, here's the old windmill. And I've seen pictures of this place when it was being lived in. And you can clearly see the windmill standing there. So that's pretty cool. Chicago. Chicago. 
Okay, cellar hole again. There's the front step, I'm sure, or back step, whatever the case was. I could probably do some detecting around the house here. It's not too bad right now. The remains of an old wagon. Clearly see the wood hub and spokes. Here are the rings you might find so often in the fields, metal detecting. Huh. Those are interesting. Grandpa's old cough medicine lay in there. I should really take that barrel. That's kind of cool. So one thing I wanted to check out for sure, so I knew there were Model T parts here. Looks like there's less than I remembered. Clearly a Model T. <laughs> if anyone needs a axle. This cap's a little smushed. And the rim is pretty well shot. And I kind of doubt that is a complete frame in there. By the looks of it. Obviously, the front axle is not here. Someone made a trailer out of it. Oil filter. Well, as far as I can tell, it feels okay. So, uh, yeah, if anyone out there needs a Model T axle, I got one for you. Moving on. <clears throat> oh, yeah, all that tin must have been from the roof. We have a pack rat nest. Isn't that lovely? Home sweet home. Someone's been shooting 22s at this thing. Texaco Extreme Pressure Lubricant. Bad it's so rusty. Well, that would have been cool. Marble Mystery Oil. Here we have a sextant for the nautical, all the ships on the prairie. No, actually, I'm thinking it's. That's a case. Well, well maybe this. 
Yeah, it might be. Yeah, International Harvester. Not sure what it is offhand. Big old chain. Little muffler. Babbit bearings. All kinds of teens. That label's gone. It's an old intake air cleaner. Pardon me, Mr. Rat. The guy really wonders how these things get to these places. So that's where the barn was. Green beans and an auger, none of which have been used by for years and years by the looks of them. We have a sidewalk, front steps to something. This would be a good area to go over with the detector. A little footing for a building of some sort. What's that blue thing? Oh, shotgun shells. We have a sidewalk, pump, a little water tower. Early, early uh, water pressure in your home. You'd have to pump it up into a tank, and then, then it would be pressure in the home. So yeah, that's actually kind of deep. Now this, I am pretty certain, is a pit for a uh, uh, grain elevator. Oh, an armadillo got trapped down there. I jumped down there um, last year and all these bits of really old glass, really cool jars, I found one good one can see one right there it has a lot of cool writing on it um, and it was a pretty old jar I mean the type with the glass lid and the wire pulled down on it oh two armadillos but just everything else is broken so The armadillo pit of death. Well, I just scraped a little rimfire pistol cartridge off the surface. So that's pretty cool. Dug up another bullet, like the ones I was finding in the barn. And I'm just making a little circuit back to the truck. 
Uh, lots of signals out here, tons of glass, but just like last winter or two winters ago, whenever that was, it's just not many non-ferrous targets. I found one V-nickel when I made that video, and that was the one and only coin. I think I'm going to head back. Um, like I said, one day, if this ever gets burned off for weed control or naturally, then I'm going to pounce right in here. And uh, I bet you we find some stuff. Well, that's going to be it. Sun's going down. Time to go home. Um, pretty much the bullets and that rimfire, small rimfire cartridge are the only good things I found. Inside the inside the trees there where the house and everything was, that's just way too junky. Um, barbed wire, tin, and canning lids are just everywhere. So, unfortunately, that's that's just how it is. Probably the best thing I found was an unused 12 gauge shell. Can certainly use that. So thanks for coming along. I don't know if it was too interesting. Um, I can do a lot of these walking around old farm videos if you want. You just have to let me know. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.